Hey, it's JJ for the MMA and Sports Extreme Show on MSXN TV. I'm here with Bang Lundwig. What's up? How you doing, brother? I'm doing pretty I'm good. I'm doing great, man. You're here at the Arnold Sports Festival, one of the craziest sporting events in the world. Yeah, it's good, man. It's, it's packed. You know, it's a great turnout, which is cool to see. You know, it's a lot more MMA crossover this year than last year, eventually. You know, so it's, it's freaking cool. Well, I think finally the world of bodybuilding and strongmen all that realized how there is such a crossover between the training with the, uh, you know, the tire flipping, the logs, all that yeah, stuff. Cross training trip between the MMA, the Thai boxing, and the, the CrossFit stuff. So it's definitely cool to kind of come in together now. It's just nice. No more separation. Your career is really solid right now. You got a lot of fans. Where, where do you see yourself going in the next, like, say, six months? Uh, six months, well, in three months to fight Dan Hardy, May 26th uh, at the UFC. And then um, after that, a little bit of vacation with the family and then back to it. You know, it's the same thing. It's always one fight at a time. So that's how the life goes. Do me a favor. When that smart ass gets a little out of control, smack him in the face for me. <laughs> that's the goal. But I'm a Dan Hardy fan, too. You know, he, he's a good No, I like him. I'm just busting. He's, he's a good guy for sure. So, uh, um, and like one thing, uh, you know, it's got to be stressed is like he's on a four fight lose streak, you know. Yeah. So, and of course, I, I want to win the next fight. But with that happening, I want to still keep him in the UFC. You know, he's a fan favorite for sure. So hopefully they keep him around. He's one of the fighters, even in a loss, you enjoyed watching the fight. Yeah, he's definitely an exciting fighter. Every fight is not a boring fight. You know, he always comes to fight. So, um, you know, there's some champions out there who kind of like kind of ease through, uh, not ease through, but uh, play it safe. He never plays it safe, so that's always nice. I want to ask you a question. Last week watching the UFC in Japan, I noticed that the fans there really responded to even the losing fighter when he gave that warrior effort and then showed respect to the other fighter at the end of the fight. It was very interesting to see the original traditional martial arts response. How do you feel about that? Um, I actually missed that last UFC, but um, with, that in, you know, with that in mind, though, I think that's great. They're educated fans. They appreciate the effort. They know what goes into it, the time, the training, the effort, the sacrifice. So it was definitely cool to see the, the mutual respect. Unlike how some people, like the people were telling me, like, they'll come to me like, hey, I'm a fan, you know, I can't wait for you to send Hardy packing, you know, I like, I think it's very disrespectful, you know, because, I mean, he still trains, and so it kind of goes back to, like, if the Japanese, they wouldn't do that to Hardy, you know, but the American fans do, so it's, it's kind of not right, but um, definitely a bit more respectful of the situation, but it's a totally different culture as well. Yeah, absolutely. You got to think back to the origination of the UFC when it, you can still wear a gi in there and, yeah. and everyone was true to their art. I still think that even though the true mix of our smart artists today have a great stand up, uh, maybe with Muay Thai and a great, great ground game with BJJ or wrestling, that they still have a base. They have a base that they came from, whether it be boxing, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, even Taekwondo. Yeah, but you know, today, it's, even that's getting a little bit not watered down, but everyone's. Losing bases, I think. You know, they're kind of training in mixed martial arts from the get-go now. So it's kind of funny you say that. Um, the old school guys, though, we, like, we came from bases. But I think the longer this goes, the less base there's going to be. They're going to have like a mixed martial arts base. So that's going to be interesting to see how it comes together. Either they're going to have kind of a, a watered-down aspect of each area or they're going to be very good, I guess. So we'll see what no, happens. No, I, I agree. And it's great that you're here at the Fight Magazine booth. This booth is hopping. There's people all around. Why don't we give a, give a message to the young fighters out there that haven't really stepped into the cage yet. They're in the gym, sweating, bleeding, getting ready for their first fight. Go go wrestle. Go wrestle. Right? That dictates where the fight's going to be. Stand up around the ground. Go freaking wrestle. That, you know, then you're going to be better off. That's, that's the main base for MMA is wrestling. So if you can get that down, you'll be better off. They can learn the other arts for sure.